Hey, this is Pastor Dave coming to you with your Monday mojo here on another slightly snowy morning in February. So it was Sunday. And the question was out there again, who's the king? Who's the king? Who is the one that is above all other names, above all other persons? Who's the king? And last night, there were a couple of them battling for it. There was King James, whose all-star team won 178 to 164. That's not much defense. <laughs> and there was another king that I watched a special on last night. The king. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I got to thinking to myself as I was watching these, these two. One from my phone and, and one on the television. How sad that we lost Elvis at the age that we did the king. How sad that we lost Michael Jackson at the age that we did. A king. King of pop. I admire King James because surrounded by nothing but um, press and observation and adulation for much of his adult life. He seems to have kept a fairly level head. Because you see, we're not built for this. We're not built for that kind of praise and that kind of adulation and that kind of glorification. We just aren't. And you've got to have yourself surrounded by some good people, I think, to keep yourself level. We're about to enter a season, though, the season of Lent, where we deliberately put aside ourselves to remember the King, the King of all kings. I hope you think about it. Wednesday, March 6th is the beginning of Lent. I hope you think about what you will for the next six weeks beginning on that day set aside in order that your heart and your mind and your life might reflect who the true king is, the one who really is able to receive all the praise and adulation. It's worth it. It's worth the exercise especially for many of us Americans, of learning how to say no to ourselves in order to grow deeper with the King. So there you go. There's your Monday Mojo. Hope you have a great week.